of this form of the Lord. I was an ignorant fool previously, but by the mercy of the Lord Sri Nila Madhava, I was made purified. So my dear king, I will not seek anything from you, but for your own good, I must tell you this, that you must and should go to Purushottama Kshetra 
and take darshan of the Lord Nilamadhu. I do understand this, my dear friend. Where is he? Where did he go? He was he is no wonder he burst in my day. Minister, can you find out? Anybody knows about him? Anybody knows about him? Do you know? Anybody know? Have you ever seen him? He is from Abel Country? What is this? He is no wonder he was done with him. He must be a self-skill being by that king. Yes. He must have been sent by the Supreme Person and the God to fulfill my desire. Please. May the rich pass. May the rich pass immediately. Yes, my dear. Find the best Purushottam Shetra. My dear brother, Vijayakadi is the best for this purpose. I shall send him and make arrangements for your travel life. Vijayakadi, please, please find out. Please help on this mission. Shabdi was his saying, I thank you. My Lord, I have been traveling for days, seeking your moon, yet I am failing to find the very trace of your location. Oh my Lord, I feel fatigue, yet my King, Indranur Maharaj, has warned me to find you. Due to his great devotion, I must abide by his rule. And I must admit that my heart is burning with desire to behold your lotus face, my Lord. Nilamad, I am tormented by hunger, but I shall not give up. I shall find you, my Lord. I shall find you. Oh. But please allow me some rest. This body of mine, this looseless bag of stool, is not cooperating with my wish, my Lord. Ah, allow me to rest. Allow me to rest. Neither Martin. Neither Martin. My dear Vidya Bhati. Do not worry, you will find me at the Blue Mountain very soon and behold my divine action. Who? Who has spoken? Blue Mountain? Nila Mountain. Nila Mountain. A heavenly voice! A heavenly voice, heavenly intervention! Thank you, my Lord! Nila Mountain. I feel alive. I shall find you! I shall succeed! I shall find my Lord! Nilaman! Nilaman! Oh, Lalita, I have been to Nilaman. I worship him now. Really? Father, is that so? Yes. How does Nilaman look? Nilaman, 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 Rasa Sagar Nagar Bhupapar So beautiful, so beautiful Subha Bhanki Macharu Sri Khanda Siram Bhada Krishna Rehim Braga Raja Sutta He looks like an emperor of sweetness Everything about him is so sweet, so beautiful Magnificently beautiful Nila Madhava Nira Martha, Nira Martha. Now you can see somebody approaching, looks like a Brahmin. Oh, dear leader of your tribe, oh, great Shabara king, I have come with a mission and I believe that you can help me. Oh, Brahmana. You look like a very royal coat. Where have you come from to this impassable region? The treacherous way. What is your cardinal purpose of coming? I have crossed mountains and lakes, valleys and deserts to come to you, to come to this abode. This is an arrangement of the Lord. 
I am seeking the beautiful form, the beautiful personality of Godhead, Neela Madhava. Neela Madhava? You must be tired. You are looking very thirsty, Bhatti. First you take rest. Lalita will take care of you. I have nothing to do with meals and beds. I have a mission to fulfill and my heart is set with determination upon that goal. Only after beholding the beautiful form of the Lord shall I rest, O Shabara leader. I understand your purpose, the divine purpose, but for the time being you take rest. I will definitely bring to Nila Madhava. And you wish, please. Lalita, please take him That's fine. and do as necessary. I accept this hospitality. I thank you very much. But please understand that my desire is fixed. Sure. I shall not rest and not find peace until I see the Lord of all the worlds. This beautiful personality of Godhead, the very source of our existence. I must behold him. I promise you, I will bring you to Neela Madhava. Thank you. Thank Narita, you. Please. Yes. My friend. This the prophecy is going to be true that a king in the Dhamma will come and the Neela Madhava, my dear Neela Madhava will vanish. How can we tolerate Neela Madhava is the sustain, sustenance of our life. He is our life and soul. How can he live without Neela Madhava? How can I live without Nila Madhava? How can we live without Nila Madhava? Nila Madhava. Ahe Nila Saila Prabhara Matta Parana Moharata Nalini Banaku Kara Dharana Ahe Nila Saila O dweller of the mountain, just as intoxicated elephant Trample the ponds of lily. Similarly, you trample the afflicted misery of separation from you. I cannot tolerate. We cannot tolerate your separation. Please do not go away. Please do not go away. We do not want rubies. We do not want any kind of wealth, any followers. We do not want any beautiful wife. All people wish for it. We only wish be the constant vision of our eyes. Be visible to our eyes always. Navai jache rajyam na chaka nakama aninga vivabham na jache ham ramyam sakla janakamyam barabadhum sada kare kare pramatapati na geet charito jagannath swami nayana pathagami bhavatume nila madhava nila madhava nila madhava nila madhava Lalita, I must reveal my mind to you, my dear wife. I have now been living here for months. I have married you, and I'm very happy, but you must understand that my deepest desire is to see my Lord. Yet your father has been avoiding me. This topic has not been discussed for weeks now. My dear wife, listen. I will not be able to withhold my life if I do not behold him. I shall commit suicide. What is the use of this life? I have been ordered by my king to find him. And day and night I have thoughts of the Lord. I only want to behold him. And I'm not capable of fulfilling this desire. And what is need of my breath? What is the need of this household life? And these meals, what is the purpose if I cannot behold the Lord? No, Master, don't say such hurtful words. I will convince my father. After all, I am his only daughter, his oldest daughter. He will listen to me, please. 
Yes. Give me a chance. Yes. My lord. You are right. You are his only, most favorite daughter. The youngest. I believe that the Lord has given you this intelligence. This is a very good plan. Today, today we shall settle this matter. My dear wife, I request you, do not fail. Go at once to your father and convince him. Convince him to show me the Lord. He knows he is going there regularly to worship him, and yet he has never brought me. He is hiding something. Please, go at once. And do not fail. Yes, my lord, I shall do as you say. Yes. That will work. That will work. And I promise you, with your plea, today is a very auspicious day. I'm going to bring you to Leela Madhava. Thank you. Thank you, dear Vishwas. Please come. Today, my desire shall be fulfilled. Today, my life shall be successful. Come, Vidya Pati. Vidya Pati. What is your dream? Hold your breath. What is it that I'm hearing? Behold! I'm hearing the magnificent and captivating beauty. The epitome embodiment, emblem of beauty. The paragraph of the unparalleled magnificent beauty. Behold! Good news 
for you, my dear king. Good news for you. <laughs> Lord, dear Madhava, our unlimited blessing. Unlimited blessing. <laughs> Our Vidyapati has come back. Vidyapati has come back. Yes, my dear. Our life has come back. Yes, 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 my dear. Dear Minister, please, bring it immediately. Soldier. Please bring it our Vidyapati. Vidyapati. My dear Vidyapati. I bring great news, my king. I have beheld him. I have seen him. You have seen the Lord of our lives. You have seen the Lord, Lord of our lives. He is the Lord of With these very eyes. With these eyes, you saw the Lord. He is very. Tell me about him. How he was. How he was. His form is indescribable, my king. But I shall try. He is made of blue jewels. He stands with his conch, mace, lotus flower, and disc. There is Lakshmi Devi, Ananta, and Sudarshan personified. I have seen him, and he has seen me. My Lord, I could hear Devi gods chanting hymns that I had never heard of before. Fragrances of the heavenly planets. My Lord, as I recall this wondrous sight, I doubt if I was dreaming or if it was real. Oh my Lord, let us go. Let us go. Come, I know the way. This man, what? What do you see? What do you see? This man, what? This holy place cannot be described by words, my lord. But I shall try. As I left this near mountain, I came upon Rohini Kunda, the most purifying of all. And I behold a crow, my lord, a crow that fell into the pond, and immediately got transformed into a four-handed Vishnu Dutta. Such power of purification is the support. Who can describe it? Who can understand it? Please, you are you are very much an angel. Please, you are very fortunate. You are very fortunate. You are seeing my Lord. You are seeing my dear mother. Not that not you will also be holding it. Please take me there. I want to see my dear mother. Yes. Please take me there. Yes. Immediately. Yes, I will take your mother. Minister. Minister. Yes, my dear We should do one thing. Let us, let us, let us sit down at the kingdom. Let us sit down at the kingdom to put on the chair. In from all the citizens, in from everybody, let us all go there. Let us, let us, let us build, let us build them cities. Let us make them forts. Let us make some gardens with lot of flowers for my own. Then he will make one gorgeous, beautiful temple for my guy. Yeah, you made a temple, and I can serve him. I can see my Lord. I can see him every day. You can serve him. You can serve him. Please, please, hear from everybody. Hear from everybody. Let us move immediately. Let us move immediately. Let us move It was real! I was here! 
My king, this is the place! Look! Oh, 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 oh. No! The mustard plants, my king! This is real! My king, the above I have seen, made of blue sapphire. Behold, he was holding the conch and the lotus flower. Lakshmi Devi was here. My king, I do not know. I do not understand. I do not understand. What happened? I don't know. Are you sure? My king, as sure as the sunrise. I think, I think this must be the plan of this Lakshmi. Let's see. Let's see. Look at me immediately. What is this? Where is the other one? Where is the other one? Where is the other is the other one? Where is the other one? Where is the other one? Where is the other is the other one? Where is the other one? Where is the I said, 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 Half the, de half the deity form on the log and install my deity form and construct the big temple for me. Can someone help me? Hey Lord, help me. At least I want to see the place. I Jai Radhika Raman, Jai Radhika Raman, Radhika Raman, Jai Radhika Raman. My dear King Indraji, please take me. What is all auspicious things? They have obstacles before them, my dear King. Now, let me tell you what happened. The day after, Vidyapati left this place. Yamaraj wanted the deity to disappear. And at the request of Yamaraj, who is the pure devotee Mahajan, the deity was covered with a sand song and descended into the nether region. Oh, now, oh, bestow your mercy upon us. <laughs> My dear king, you are a courageous Vaishnava. How is it that you have been taken up by so much emotion? Don't you understand the path of spiritual life is beset with thorns. But I have some good news for you. I am coming from the abode of Lord Brahma. And let me tell you, the Lord has an enormous plan for you. Lord Brahma is now on his way to the Shvetati. And he will petition the Lord to come in the form of wood. Until then, he wants you to perform 1,000 horse sacrifices, Ashtamirti Yajnas. At the conclusion of those Yajnas, you shall witness the Lord of the Universe. Indeed, you shall build an enormous temple, the beautiful, unprecedented, and Lord Brahma himself will descend to consecrate the deities. My dear King, Please take heart. Simply painful for me. But still your words are impatient. At least I can see my love. I can see my love. Jai Radhika Raman, Jai Radhika Raman. Radhika Raman, Jai Radhika Raman. My dear minister. Yes, my dear. Let us go. Let us go immediately. 
that is working on the Lord Jesus. Sure, sure. Jai Nilavala Ki! Jai! Jai! My dear minister. Yes, my dear. This is the divine law that came in Nilam Sagar. Here is Mapalitan. I hope at least he can be able to make the law. Many of them come and go simply wasting time. I don't know what to do. Come in. Come the ladies. Come the ladies. Come in. Deliver the ladies. What happened to Jesus? It's broken. Again, it's just a little problem. My dear Lord, no matter how hard I try, this log is inaccessible. It's not in my whole dynasty. I've seen such a log. And I'm not able to have even a single bore in this log, my dear Lord. My dear Lord, indeed I have a plan. Friendly, show us what you want to do. All the government is saying there is not even a single government left in the city, nor the surrounding cities. What do you want to do, my Lord? What do you want to do? Is there any other government left? We'll try one more. Maharaj Indra Jimna. Maharaj Indra Jimna. Please, why don't you give me a chance? Hey, old man! Give you a chance. You, you can hardly stand. How is it? Maharaj Indradyumna, I may be the answer for your prayers. Why don't you just give me a chance? I promise, Maharaj Indradyumna, that I shall manifest and bring to life Exactly the very form that you have seen in your trance. Just give me a chance. Who can understand? Who can understand the activities of the Lord? I think I so. The Lord is beyond the beyond the understanding. Maybe, my dear minister, he should be the answer for the praise. We give him a chance. Give him a chance. Yes, my dear Lord. But my dear Maharaj Indra Dhyumna, I agree to work on this on one condition. I would like to work on this in complete isolation behind closed doors. And if I'm interrupted while I'm working, I shall leave it in whatever state it is at that very moment. And I shall leave. I hope you are agreeable to this condition, my dear Maharaj Indra Dhyumna. Whatever the Lord says, yes. yes. You will request this good thing. My dear Minister, yes, make the necessary arrangements. Yes, my dear. The old carpenter, who was none other than Vishwakarma, the heavenly architect, started carving the deity. As per his request, he wanted 21 days to carve the deities. But after 14 days, King Indra Dhyumna grew very impatient. He was wondering why is it taking so long for Vishwakarma to complete the carving of the deities. After 14 days, suddenly the sounds of the chisels stopped. Minister. Yes, my dear. It has been 15 days. The government has asked for 21 days' time. But for a few days, there is no sound. Yes. We don't hear any sound. We I heard this chisling sound before. Maybe he woke up and he died. He should have died. He, he not, he can stand. 
Jay Radhikaraman, Jay Radhikaraman. I think we should open it. I think we should open it and see. Don't do, Maharaj, don't do. Please, don't do. It is not advisable. No. Because he already... No, my dear minister, no, you don't know. This man is... He should have been died. Let us see what is inside. Don't, don't do, don't Let do, my dear Maharaj, don't do, don't do, Maharaj! What is this? What is this? What is this song? There is no hands, there is no legs. Where is the carpenter? Carpenter! 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 Help me go! My dear King Indraduna, that carpenter was none other than Vishwakarma, the architect of the Devi God. Indeed, neither are these forms incomplete, nor was there any offense on your part. Indeed, the Lord is not only complete, but adorned with the ecstatic symptoms that have never been seen before in this world. Let me tell you, the incident which happened in the previous Kalpa, these forms of the Lord are the ecstatic manifestations of Krishna, his brother Balaram, and their sister Subhadra. Jai. In the previous Kalpa, when Krishna descended with his brother and sister and all his associates, one day, the queens of Krishna, 16,000 of them, wanted to hear the glories of the gopis of Vrindavan. They were always mesmerized by how Krishna was so attached to the gopis, despite the queens being the most beautiful women in Dwarka. And Mother Rodi was describing the pastimes of Krishna with the gopis in Vrindavan. But in that assembly, there were only women. Mother Romini described in the past times to all the 16,000 queens of Krishna. And Krishna and Balaram were away. If Krishna and Balaram heard those past times, they would become stunned with ecstasy. And therefore, Mother Romini did not want them to hear. So she asked Subhadra, their sister, to guard outside the hall. And as she was guarding, she would overhear the pastimes described by Mother Romini. And she became ecstatic and her eyes became big. Her limbs shrunk in the body and she looked just like this. And as she was stunned, Krishna and Balaram appeared at that very same time. And when they saw Subhadra, they were astonished. And they tried to find out the reason. And they overheard, overheard the past times. And they also became stunned in ecstasy. And I am fortunate at that moment. Although I travel all over the universe, I happen to be at that very moment at that very place. Jai Radhikaraman! And I saw these beautiful forms, and here they are again. My dear King Indrajuna, you are so fortunate that they have descended in this form to grace your kingdom. Please build a beautiful, exceptional temple to the Lord and worship him in all opulence. This is Nila Madhav. Madhav has descended. The Lord has come. And How can I serve? What I should do? How can I get served? Let me know. Well, my king.
construct a beautiful temple and arrange for such services that not a single moment the hand of the Lord shall be dry. It will be wet with the cold offering. 56 offerings every single day, 8 times a day. Offer him in great opulence and distribute the prasad to everyone. And let the Lord raise the entire world and let him be called Jagannath, the Lord of the universe. also benedicted the wife of Indadamna Gundicha. Let there be an annual car festival where the Lord of the universe comes forth with his magnificent splendor along with his brother Subhadra, brother Balabhadra and Subhadra mounting on a richly decorated chariot for a parade procession in order to shower his unbounded mercy to all the living men entity and reviving their Krishna consciousness. Jai Jagannath! Jai Jagannath! Jai Jagannath! Jai Jagannath. 